The film you are about to see is based on a true story. The names and places have been changed to protect the guilty. Wilbur had a problem with his family. Never had a single opportunity. Everybody laughing at him all the time. Had to ask his brother for a thin dime. Hey, Leroy, give me some beer. Thank you, Leroy. You're welcome, Wilbur. Wilbur had a problem, he was kind of slow. Everybody making fun of him, well, you know. Brother wouldn't even give him the time of day. Hang around a while and you can hear him say. Hey, Leroy, can I have some beer? Thank you, Leroy. You're welcome, Wilbur. Wilbur had a problem with the whole damn place. Wilbur had a problem with the human race. Seated down inside was something mighty bad. Had to ask for everything he had. Hey, Leroy, give me some beer. Thank you, Leroy. You're welcome, Wilbur. So he bought a gun Gonna shoot the place up Have a little fun Brother Leroy gonna be the First to pay Who will be the next one It's early in the day Be careful when you hear him say Hey Leroy Give me some beer Hey Leroy Give me another one of them beers. You're full of crap, Leroy, you know that? You and your smart ass ideas. Hell, Wilbur. Everybody knows they caught him here. Leroy said he saw Shut cat. your mouth, Melvin. Ain't nobody talking to you. I'm saying is Harold Dean's a liar. Always has been. Just cause he sweeps up at the jail don't mean no shit. <coughs> Give me another one of them beers. You had enough, Wilbur. You had enough, Wilbur. You had enough, Wilbur. Melvin. I see you give me one of them dead beers. Oh, oh, Leroy, you, oh, you're hurting me. I know that, Wilbur. The Lord meant for brothers to love one another. And I love you. But I'll hurt you bad if you don't do like I say. And we can't let nothing keep us from delivering our brother Kima from his enemies. He ain't no brother of mine. Ow, oh. He saved our life in the mine that time. Okay. God sent him to save us. And in God's eyes, he became... Our brother. Okay, okay, damn it, just let go. Damn it, Leroy. You don't have to be so mean about it. I'm just tired of sitting here. We've been waiting here over two hours now. How the hell do we know if this is the right road or not? It has to be, Wilbur. It's the only road into town from the west. Chavis has got to go by here. It's in God's hands. God's hands. Oh, come on, Leroy, knock it off. Uh, I'm sick and tired of your phony religious horse shit. Now, what did God ever do for you, huh? Did he ever give you any money? Did he ever get you laid? <laughs> did he ever buy you a big shiny car? <laughs> Hell, Leroy, if they was a God and he loved you, how come he made you so damn duck? <laughs>
I'll ask him to forgive you. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Right now. I'm gonna ask God to forgive you, Wilbur. God, it's me, Leroy. Leroy Bassett. You know I don't bother you unless it's something important. I just want you to know that my brother Wilbur here didn't Lee mean... Boy. Look. God be praised. You see, Wilbur? God is good. He's already forgiven you. out of jail. We ain't gonna get Keem out of jail. We ain't? Then why the hell do we drive 400 miles for if we ain't gonna get him? I didn't say we weren't gonna get him. I said we ain't gonna get him out of jail. Chavez gonna do that for us, and we gonna get him Chavez. Oh, I see. Well, we, we just gonna walk up to old Chavez and we gonna say thank you, huh? No. Just gonna drive right up behind him, blink a little old red light, a nice shiny police car. You know something, Leroy? You're crazy. You're just plumb dumb crazy. Now, where the hell are we gonna get us police car? God may have made you the oldest, Wilbur. He sure didn't make you the smartest. You know, Mom always said his brain shrunk from that fever she had just before he was born, Leroy. <laughs> you make him stop picking on me, I'm gonna bust him good. Now, I mean it. You make him stop talking about me that way, Leroy, I'm gonna bust. Shut up, both of you. We got more important things to do than sit here and fight between ourselves. I still want to know where we're going to get a police car. <laughs> Hell, Wilbur. That's the easiest thing in the world to get. <coughs> I hope you're satisfied, Leroy. My ass is almost froze off from sitting here all night. God said be patient. Patience is knowledge. You ain't got neither one of them, Wilbur. How you know he said that? Huh? How you know he said that, Leroy? You show me where he said that. You just show me. I'll show you my tattoo, Wilbur. You can't do it, can you? You can't show me that anymore and you can tell me where we're going to get a police car. God going to give you that police car, Leroy. I told you last night not to make fun of God, Wilbur. Now I mean it. Ain't making fun of nobody. I just want to know where we're going to get a police car. God will provide. I'd rather he'd provide us with something to eat. Oh, stop your bitching, Wilbur. If it wasn't for Kima, you'd be worn crap by now. Hell, I'm just starving, Leroy. You know I get them damn bad headaches when I don't eat. That ain't for not eating, Wilbur. That's for pulling your putt. <laughs> Shut your mouth, Mevin. I'm gonna bust you good. I mean it. Both of you, stop that. Hell, you know this is stupid, Leroy. I think we ought to go home. Besides, I don't feel good. As the Lord saith, all good things come to them that wait. Mm -hmm.
Sergeant Chavez, we have extradition papers from New Mexico for Kingman Railroad. Right, we've been expecting you. It'll take a few minutes to get them signed over to you. He's a strange one. Ain't had too many Indians in here before. They all like him? Nope. Some of us bathe and eat with a knife and fork. I didn't mean, uh... It's all right. Forget it. I know what you mean. He's a breed all to himself, all right. He ain't said a word since he's been here. Just stares. You know, he gives me the creeps. They haven't handed me one of no beers. He's all warmly, Roy. I didn't ask you that, Melvin. I said, hand me one. Well, if you can have one, I can have one, too. Ain't nobody said nothing about having one. You know I don't drink, Wilbur. Well, then what you want it for? Boy, you are dumb, Wilbur. But... Now, I'm getting sick and tired of you calling me dumb, Leroy. If you ain't gonna drink it, there ain't nothing else you're gonna do with it. You been wanting to know how he's gonna get that police car, ain't you? Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna trade a policeman this nice warm beer for a nice shiny police car. You know it took six of our men to get him into a cell? I can believe it. When he was about 14, a couple of kids jumped him. He nearly beat him to death. When we went after him, he uh, took off for the mountains in the dead of winter. Everyone figured he froze to death. A couple months later, two deer hunters came up on some tracks. A deer's and a man's. It seems that somebody tracked and ran a deer till it dropped, dressed it out and carried off about 150 pounds of meat. Keem is the only one it could have been. Well, he can talk, can't he? He can talk all right, when he wants to. Matter of fact, better than you and I. How do you now, officer? I, I'm on my way home. I got kind of lost. Looking for Highway 19. Now just go down here about two blocks, turn left, then right at the bridge. You can't miss it. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's it, old buddy. You're doing just fine. <laughs> Wilbur, reach up the glove compartment. arms up there on the window. I'll put little holes in your belly. <laughs> Mavis, reach out to get his gun. Okay, old buddy. Back up. We're gonna take a ride in your pretty police car. You two get out of there! Get over here undressing now.
ajan mitä kestää. Se ei se ole. Ja mun kiit lähtee päästä. Okei, nää chief, you want to play bad now? Son of a bitches! You know, Chief, I sure wish you wouldn't leave me today. You know, I'd kind of like to... Now, boy, I'm gonna teach you some manners that your manny should have taught you a long time ago. Ah! <laughs> Alright, get that belt. Get it on him and get him out of here. Get him cleaned up. You know, we don't want New Mexico to think we don't take care of yet. <laughs> Hey, Leroy. <laughs> Leroy, look what I found. You know where one do? What fur? Oh, Leroy, you got one. If you've got one, it looks like I ought to be able to wear one, too. Please, Leroy. All right. <laughs> you look good, Leroy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Leroy. You're welcome, Wilbur. Hey, hey we better hurry. They're going to be gone. Yeah. Well, we know where they're going. Melvin knows what to do. Hey, Leroy, can't we kill him? No, we ain't got time. What do you mean we ain't got time? Just give me that much time. I can Wilbur, I told you before, it ain't fitting, proper, or Christian to kill a man unless you got time to say words over him. Everybody got a right to be prayed into heaven, and I ain't got time for me to do it right now. But he can identify as Leroy. So can God, Wilbur. And he knows that what we got to do is more important than sending him this there center. And get in that trunk. Here, let's go. Send the charges. He killed an officer and shot the sheriff also. What made him do that? Sheer stupidity. It happened the day he was married. <laughs> Kima, I know this is your wedding day and you boys are having a lot of fun, but I think you've been drinking a lot, too. I think you should all go back inside, have some coffee before you try to go anywhere in that car. Okay? Okay, boys. About ten minutes later, they were on patrol east of town.
And that's the last we heard of him until your boys picked him up here last month. Sheriff made it okay, though. Oh, yeah. Ben's a tough old bird. Been sheriff 19 years, and this is the first bad trouble he's had. Who'd expect a man to kill someone over some that was his own fault? Oh, yeah. Kima? What happened to him? He liked us so much here, he didn't want to leave. <laughs> Looks like you convinced him. I didn't ask him to come here. Didn't say you did. Come on, Kima. Sheriff Trask wants you at home. That's right. He's alive. Thank you, Sergeant. Come on, Kima. Let's go home. Damn it, Wilbur, shut up. I'm hungry, too. Well, you don't get as hungry as me, Leroy. You know what the doctor said. He gave you medicine to take for the worms, but you won't take them. Well, it tastes awful, Leroy. I'd rather have the worms. Well, where the hell they at? It's been over a half hour since we went by the jail. He's probably in your right. Wilbur, if you don't shut up, I'm gonna hit you. And I don't want you getting me all upset. Look, you're getting me all nervous. Could I at least have a beer, Leroy? That is hell. We ain't got no beer. Wilbert's in the car. No, 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 it ain't. Not, not all of it. You see? Where'd you get that beer, Wilbert? Back at the car before Melvin went to watch him at the jail. Please, Leroy. Will you shut up if I let you have it? Okay, then. Thank you, Leroy. You're welcome, Wilbur. Turn on, police. It's Leroy Ben. You move, Hector, and I'll send you to hell. <laughs> Hello, Kima. I just set up, Hector. Real slow. Now then, go around there and get his gun. Put your hands up. We're steering wheel and on the dash, Hector. It's Wilbur, Leroy. My God, his mouth. They broke out all his teeth. What did they do that for, Melvin? Why'd they do that to Wilbur, Leroy? Go help your brother. Hector, give me the keys for them locks on Kima. My God, they're all... I'll shoot your tongue out if you don't give me them damn keys. I don't have them. Curtis has them. <laughs> I mean, he did. Don't kill him, Leroy. I want him alive. Mevin, go get them keys. Hector says he's gone. <laughs> Hurry up, Melvin. Okay, get in there and unlock those 
Okay. Now give Kima your gun and go help your brother. I don't want you dead, Chavez. So if you don't want to die, don't even sweat. You just slide out of there real easy, like. Come on. I'm going to kill you. Leroy, you and Melvin put those things on him. You tell us what to do. Leroy, you don't let him tell us what to do. Get the hell out of here. Some weight. <laughs> Sheriff Department, Deputy Miller speaking. Uh, yeah, Raleigh, he's here. Hold on just a minute, will you? It's Raleigh Doki, he wants to talk to the Sheriff. All right, all right. Watch that one. Listen, Raleigh, hold on a minute, will you? Thank you. Funder once asked me, how do you do that? Hey, do you mind, huh? Shit, sense of humor. Uh, phone call, Ben. Right. Sheriff Trask. You should have seen the lovely young lady I was with last night. Clay, mm. believe me, I have seen some of your young ladies. I ask you not to tell me that. Uh, Clay, do me a favor, will you knock off the funny crap and see when Cheryl's in his office? Uh, Tell me up the car and meet me out front. Right, right Chef. You got more trouble over Rollins' place? Uh, something's always happening in Rollins' place, isn't it? The damn fool Leonard Tuttle just beat the hell out of Rollins and tore his place up again. What's he got against Rollins? Seems he was messing around with Leonard's sister. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. He's old enough to be her grandfather. Jerry, someday you might be a damn good deputy if you could only do one thing. What's that? Well, I'd hate for you to give an identification on someone by age. What do you mean? Well, for your edification, Deputy Miller, 
I and Ra were in the same graduation class, and I'm sure as hell not old enough to be Uncle Tuttle's grandfather. Uh, Sheriff, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean... Well, hell, Ben, you look at least 20 years younger than Rolla. You know something else, Jerry? If bullshit was a penny a pound, you'd be a millionaire. <laughs> uh, excuse me, Sheriff. Uh, Frank said he'd meet you in front. Okay. Hey, what's bugging the old man? Uh, Leonard just broke up Rollo's place again. Happy days are here again. get somewhere by morning. They're gonna hang you for sure this time, Kima. Hector, if I was you, I wouldn't push my luck. The only reason you're still alive is because I have a little message for you to take back to the sheriff. You tell him I left on a debt and I don't like owing anybody. You tell him I don't know when I'll be there to pay him, but just as sure as you're being alive, I'll be there. You understand? It's over 400 miles to home. There's a policeman for every one of those miles. You'll be stopped before you get halfway there. Well, you're one of the lucky ones. Because they're gonna be awful dead if they try. Well, you better get started. You don't want to get lost in the dark. Melvin? Let's go, Leroy. Good afternoon, Sheriff. Hi there, Lenny. Would you fill it up, please? Okay. Check under the hood? No, don't bother with the hood, Lenny. Yeah. Boy, he sure tore hell out of Rollins. Yeah, that he did. But if you ask me, it's as much his fault as Leonard's. Everybody in town knows how Leonard is about his sister. Now, that's just asking for trouble. Well, he got plenty of that. Looked like somebody hit him in the face with a skillet. <laughs> If you ever took a close look at Leonard's hands, you'd know it wasn't. What do we do now? Go out to the ranch and bring him in? No, let's just go on back to the office. I'll call old Lauren and just tell him to bring him in. We go out there, somebody just might get hurt. Well, I'm glad to hear you say that, Ben. When he's drinking, I'm a coward, too. <laughs> No, Frank, I think it's old age catching up. I think when this term's over, I'm going to go fishing for about five years. This is a hell of a job anyway, Frank. No matter what we do, we're wrong. We're damned if we do and damned if we don't. <laughs> That's for damn sure. When the red, red robin comes bob-bob-bobbing bob, along <laughs> <laughs> you know, that was pretty damn stupid, you letting that stinking Hector go. You, you should let me kill him. Maybe we should have, Kima. You don't understand, Leroy. 
Ain't no good to kill a man if he doesn't know about it. I want the sheriff to know I'm gonna kill him. Except he don't know how or when. I want him to think about it a little bit. Everybody's gonna be looking for us when, when Hector gets back to town. They are. But they're not gonna be looking for us where we're going. You know something, Frank? I just made up my mind about something. What I said before. I've had it. I've got two months left on this term. That's it. I want to enjoy life, Frank. I want to do what I want to do and go where I want to go. If I want to go in somewhere and have a drink, I can without some peckerwood making his business. Who needs this crap? All I can tell you is that's the best damn meal I ever had at Canfield's. I've never heard you brag about Ivan's cooking before. Well, things always taste better when they're free. Mm -hmm. Well, if you're worried about getting spoiled, you can give me the dollar thirty-four, and we can pretend it never happened. Nope. A free meal, a momentous decision of the future, all in one day. No, Frank, this is the day I want to remember forever. I think it's going to be too hard to do, Ben. Lauren and his humanoid menage just pulled up out front. Think of anything else we'll need. I like that stick licorice scheme, huh? Maybe if they got some of that, huh? That crap ain't good for you, Leroy. Well, we put down whiskey for Wilbur. I don't like whiskey, but I do like that stick licorice. Only reason why he's getting whiskey is to keep him from whining about his damn teeth. Maybe we shouldn't even do that in singing us about his bad. Ain't his fault he got his teeth hurt, Kima. The only thing I'm trying to get him to understand is. He can't go around kicking hell out of someone just because he feels like it. Well, hell, Sheriff. The minute I walked in there, he started throwing pool balls. I told you not over a week ago to stay away from there. But what'd you go over there for, anyway? Well, I just wanted to talk to him. You see that, Leonard? That's a telephone. If all you wanted to do was to talk to him, why didn't you use the phone? Leonard, what am I going to do with you? You want to go back to jail again? Boy, Mr. Trask asked you a question. Now, by the goddamn, you answer him! Well, Leonard, do you want me to put you back there in one of them cells again? No. Lauren, I'm going to let him go home with you and the missus. You'll have to come here, though, when the judge sets a date for the hearing, unless I can get Rolla to listen to reason. I think I can if Leonard will make restitution. What's that mean? Pay for the damages. Well, uh, according to Clyde Lewis, uh, he told me that Rolla broke them windows himself, throwing balls at my boy. It wouldn't have happened if he hadn't gone over there in the first place. Now, Leonard, I'm going to let you go home with your folks. But I'm telling you now, if you get into any more trouble, I'm going to lock you up and throw away the key. You understand? Lauren, I think if you keep him home and keep him busy, you won't have time to get into trouble. I surely will do that, Sheriff. Sure. I surely will. And I appreciate it. I've had over eight head of cattle pulled down by wolves in the last week. Only way to stop them is by putting out traps. I can't do that by myself. Thank you, Sheriff. Boy, thank the Sheriff and let's go home.
Phil, you were really strange. How's that, Jim? Well, you spend half an hour brushing those boots, and the minute you get outside, they're going to be covered in mud and slush anyway. Who's going to know they've been brushed? Beauty is as beauty does. Mm. Well, beauty, you and Jerry hold the fort. We should be back by the time we have to get here. Right. Oh. Jerry. What? Was it the name of the town you come from in Kansas? Concordia? Yeah, I thought that was it, and I read that article about it in the paper today. What article? I remember the whole thing. It's something about uh, why Christ could be born there. Oh, come on, man. Not another one of your cruddy jokes. Jerry, it's the truth. Okay, why couldn't Christ have been born in Concordia, Kansas? Couldn't find three wise men or a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter with you, Wilbur? Remember, go put your brother in the car. And take that bottle of whiskey away from him. You touch my bottle, I'll kill you. You <laughs> leave me alone. Damn you, Wilbur. Hi, Chief. How's that little drinky poo? <laughs> Put him in the car. <laughs> it's the right road. About 75, 80 miles.
Cloud County Sheriff's Department. Deputy Hoover speaking, sir. Hey, Hector, where you been? We expect... Oh, my God, no. What we do now, Kima? Yeah, what did we do now, Kima? We done got our asses strung out 40 miles on account of you. Well, you're a real big man. I'm the only place nobody knows that but me. We're gonna drive up there. And go to the door. Well, you said there never was anybody here this time of year. Shut your mouth, Wilbur. I'll take care of it, okay? So I was wrong. We didn't know it was anybody's property. We thought... Well, you thought wrong, old man. Yes, sir. I guess we did. We were just fixing to move on. Anybody else here? <laughs> just us and our daughter, Twyla. Get on an APB to the highway patrol to alert all state units. Jerry, you make sure that those alerts get out to all surrounding states. Clay, what else did Hector say? I mean, what I told you. Ed Curtis is dead, and Kima says he owes you. Frank, get the state commissioner on the phone. See if they can get us some backup units here as soon as possible. I want every road into town blocked by morning. I want one of our men on every road. Someone who knows the Bassett or Kima by sight. I want every unknown vehicle searched. Even if it's a hay wagon, shake it down. Then, then you think it will be all right, us staying here? Well, I'm only foreman here, but you don't seem to have done any great amount of damage. So I guess it won't hurt for a while. Hey, you are a Christian folk, ain't you? We surely are. Assembly of God. I'm a deacon. Assembly of God. Well, praise the Lord, Brother Charles. It just ain't hardly any better folk than that. Leastwise, not that I know of. Hey, girly, bring me some more of them beans. That girl, you're sure he's short on manners, mister. It ain't that. She's a mute. You try and treat me like I'm stupid or something, mister? No, sir, I'm not. Not at all. Then don't you go telling me she's no ute. Ain't no damned Indian ever born look like that. No, sir, you got me wrong. I didn't say ute. I said she was a mute. That means deaf and dumb. She can't hear or talk. I know what it means, old man. You just didn't say the word plain when you said it. You were trying to make me look stupid. He couldn't do that, Wilbur. You shut your mouth, Melvin. But he couldn't, Wilbur. You was born looking like that. <laughs> If you don't stop taking at your brother, I'm gonna let him hook you. And just leave him alone. He ain't got any right talking to me that way, Leroy. I'm his elder brother. He didn't treat me like that. You know, he's always saying things about me like that that ain't so. Leroy, you tell him to be nice to me, please. Oh, he'll will. Just go on in there and lay down now. You shouldn't do that when I'm hurt the way I am. Leroy, I'm... My teeth, they, 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 they just hurt me something awful. I know, Wilbur. Now, you just go on in there and get some rest. You're awful good to me, Leroy. Mm -hmm. You're my brother, Wilbur. And I love you. Thank you, Leroy. You're welcome, Wilbur.
You know you feel good, but you just leave me alone. That's all we've done with it, Mr. Brock. I hope you won't think I'm interfering, but I've done a lot of vet work. And I got some of the medicine. Some of it works just as good on humans. Well, it ain't like he was really sick, you know. His, his horse threw him and hit his teeth on a post. You know, it broke him pretty bad. Teeth ain't much difference whether they be on a man or a horse. Might be I could help. Well, I certainly appreciate it, Brother Zorn. That's very Christian of you. Was it not the Lord, Brother Bassett, that saith, I am my brother's keeper? Scared, old man? Yes, Brother Bassett. She was brought into the world with her silence. Sometimes I think God did it to keep her unaware of the evils and violence of this world, to, to keep her pure. Does she know of our Lord? Yes, yeah, she's read his book through many times. Woman, get those couple of rabbits on the back stoop I shot yesterday and have the girl skin them down for supper tonight. I'll give her a hand, Mrs. Zorn. Oh, thank you, son. You're very kind. Well, he sure is a nice boy, Mr. Bassett. Twyla seems quite taken with him. That he is, Sister Zorns. Maybe not quite as God-fearing as he should be, but he's young yet. <laughs> oh, my God. Leroy, I hurt. I hurt the hat. I know, Wilbur. Look, I told you last night, Brother Zorns here is a doctor. Why don't you let him take a look at your teeth for you? He ain't no damn doctor. He ain't no damn horseshoe is gonna poke around my mouth. Some of them teeth don't have to be pulled. I'd be beholden to you if you could do it, brother. I can do it, but you're gonna have to tie him down. It ain't gonna feel good when they come out. He's gonna fight like a detesticled wolf. Wilbur? Would that there bottle of whiskey make you feel better? No, I don't think it would. I think the best thing is what we're doing now. Yes, Governor, I'll go. 
Thanks again. I didn't know so many Indians were riding around with white eyes now. I didn't know there were. Mm -hmm. There's over 50 sightings in the last 24 hours, some as far as Nebraska. All erroneous, of course. She's my little sugar bugger. Everybody wants to hug her, but she only puck her up for me. <laughs> Girlie, come here, I got something to show you. you you're gonna lie to you. You're gonna learn how to make all kinds of sounds. Come here, come here. Come on, Girlie. Come on, Girlie. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Yeah. Stop them keeping them milk down. They can get your ass up here. Now, honey, if I don't do everything just right, you just speak up. <laughs> Thank you, hell. Knock it off, Leroy. I wasn't going to do nothing somebody you shouldn't have done a long time ago. You're a vile man, Brother Bassett. You shut your mouth, you bald-headed old fart. You stop calling me brother. I ain't no kin, no trash like you. You hush your mouth, Gilbert. No, I don't have to. I'm getting sick and tired. Everybody telling me what to do all the time. You said you was going to have my teeth fixed, too, and you didn't. You always want me to do everything you say, and, and you don't do nothing you say. Mm. To hell with you. We gonna fix your teeth right now, Wilbur. What? That's what we are coming to do. Well, what the hell are you doing, Leroy? Don't no, Leroy. No, please. No. No! Oh, my God! Oh, hallelujah, Lord. Did you hear, Brother Zorn? My brother Wilbur here called out to the Lord. It's gonna Thank give you, Lord! Me, it's going to give me great pleasure, Brother Bassett, to look back on this day and know that I had a hand in your brother's conversion. Sorry, Sheriff. It's possible. Then. Some guy didn't want to touch his truck. It was clean, so he's sitting on his way. Well, that's okay. I don't want any dead heroes. Anything that doesn't look right or you think you need some help on, get some backups out of your pronto. No sign of him anywhere, Sheriff? No, nothing. Maybe they fell off a cliff somewhere. No, we couldn't be that lucky. Jerry, I want you and Torillo to go into Clay Center, pick up another unit, and go on down to Arnsville. They may just try to come in that way now that the weather's clear. Frank. You get Osterman on the radio, tell him to pick up Hector and come on out here. We'll wait here with Clay until they get here. Hit time to go, Wilbur. They feeling any better? Mm -hmm. Some. But my God, Leroy, it just ruined the hell out of my look. Eh, yeah, ain't that bad. Yeah. We get some bald teeth. They look just as good. Yeah, might look good, but they probably just keep falling down like Ma's did. <laughs> Leroy, you remember that time at Aunt Lily's when she sneezed at the table and they fell on top of the cake? <laughs> 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 
That's funny. She had I like to die. <laughs> Brother Bassett, Brother Leroy, what, what? I told you to get in the truck, old man. But what does this mean, Brother Leroy? It means get in there now. Now, Brother Zorn, ain't no reason for you to fret. But what? what now, you're going to drive the camper. And if anybody stops us, you just be very careful about what you say. And nobody going to get hurt. If anybody wants to search the truck, back of it, you tell them you lost the keys. But what? But what, but... your ass, old man? Now you do what you're told, or I'm going to blow you to hell. Where are we going? To hell, brother. <laughs> hey, we go to hell. No, 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 no. See your driver's license, please. Well, what's the matter, officer? You're Mr. Zorns? Yes, sir. Mrs. Zorns? She sure is. Well, is this your current address here? Uh huh. Campers lock. May I have the key to the back, please? Uh, I don't have it. We're going I to have to open up the back. Please. You in there, come out with your hands up. Please, they got our daughter in there. You have five seconds. Come down very slow and very easy.
of your belly button out of your back. Come on, Leroy. I want to kill you right here, Wilbur. Your brother lay over there dead, killed by sinners, and you'd run off and leave his soul in hell. You get over there and help me get him over here by the Holy Ghost. I'll send you to hell. Shut up and drive, slick, or my brother's gonna be wearing your teeth. Move it, damn you! That's those bastards! Oh, Lord! Lord. Save us! If you're a fine Christian woman, sister, you'll have nothing to fear. Only sinners shall suffer. Here lies my fine Christian brother, killed the sinners. You all saw him struck down in his young manhood. If God sent them sinners to hell, this fine Christian boy will enter the portals of heaven today because we're going to pray his soul into the keeping of God. Oh, Lord, this is your son, Leroy Bassett. I'm sending you, my brother. My fine Christian brother. Well, I've been struck down whilst doing your work. Thank you, man. I said pray, damn you. Here lies this fine Christian boy. Killed the sinners. And I don't hear you speaking to the Lord. The only sinners blaspheme by not praying. You all want God to think that you're blaspheming? You want him to look at you as sinners? Eh? Then pray, damn you, pray! Oh, Lord, here I plead. Take him into your heart and love him as we do. What? What? Oh, yes, Lord! Yes, I hear you now, Lord. Yes, I hear you, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah! Over here, Slick. SO1 to SO3. SO3 to SO1. Clay, what's the weather like up there now? Sheriff, all I can tell you is that sure as hell aren't going to get through here, even if they are in the area. And if Hector and I don't get out of here soon, we ain't going to get out of here at all. Okay, Clay, you and Hector come on down out of there, and we'll meet you at Cordes Junction. 10 4 SO1. Let's pray for all the 
sinners. Get back there, Wilbur. I don't want to know if there's any sinners on this bus. Because if you know what is going to happen when I find the sinner, that's habit. Oh, Lord, look out on this bus here. You can see there ain't no sinners on here. We were alone during the fire, Wilbur. Lord, Lord, cleanse all these three people on this bus. Help them to live the good lives. Help them to be good Christian folk. Every day of the week. Good service today. Yes, sir. Mighty fine, Brother Clay. So those boys you've seen sing the bastards or uh, came along the road, have you? No. The Lord looks after his flock. When are we going to see you in service, Brother Hoover? <laughs> soon, Virgil. Soon. All right, let it through. Uh, well, wait, wait, wait a second, Virgil. Uh, Sheriff, I'm going to go into the town. I can come back with Morgan, okay? Okay, very good. All right, thank you. Hey, you move them damn cars, or I'll blow everybody on this bus to hell. You hear me, Sheriff Ben Trask? I hear you, Leroy. Yeah, you damn well better do what I tell you. And right now. Leroy, is Kima with you? <laughs> Kima? <laughs> Kima who, Sheriff? <laughs> Don't play games with me, Leroy Bassett. You shut your mouth, you filthy old bastard. You ain't gonna tell me what to do no more! You can't scare me! I'm doing it damn thing no more! You wanna see what I do, Sheriff? Are you right with God, little man? We're on pretty good terms, I believe, Mr. Bassett. Brother, brother. Me and him, just like that. I'll put in a good word for you. I am quite capable of speaking to the Lord on my own behalf. And I will enter heaven when you are burning in hell, Mr. Bassett. Let's just see who gets there first, preacher man. Come on. You little crap on Leroy Bassett no more, you old You old crap! People don't know who Leroy Bassett is. The Lord, now I have the strength now. Move his leg! Shoot out the tires. Damn him to hell. Sheriff! We're coming out! Al! You wanna shoot something? We're gonna give you something to shoot at. Get out, get out of here! Get out! I see you, Leroy. Let the girl go, Leroy. You can't get anywhere. You're full of shit! I can go anywhere I want! and you're dead! Oh, oh, my God! Oh, my God! My God! Sweet, 
Thank you. Oh, Jesus. Sweet. Oh, Jesus. Sweet. Lord. Jesus. Go on, go on. I can't. <laughs> I gotta go to the bathroom. Shut up! We missed him. He's headed up into the hills. Frank, you and Hector put this thing in the car. Well, there's one damn thing for sure. We'll never catch him on foot. Well, it's only a couple of miles up to Johnny Little Elk. We can get some horses there. We better hold up somewhere. There's a land shack right up here. We better stay there tonight. Look at that storm coming up.
Engine on a mountain Engine in the snow Looking where to run to Looking where to go Engine on a mountain He's running from the man Hiding from the sheriff the hell? The tracks. He's double back on us. Bring it hard. Oh, mother of God. Let's cut him down. Looks like he's headed towards Tuttles. Yeah, he must be. He knows he can't make it without a horse. All right, let's move.
No, Ben. For God's sake, no! Oh.